Hi, I'm Amanda Perna with eHow.com and today I'm going to show you how to cut a t-shirt into a dress. So the style that we're doing here is a little bit flirty, a little bit fun, very easy to do and only requires a little bit of sewing. So the first step is to make the bodice. So how I do this is simply just cut off the sleeve. I like to start with the seam at the bottom of the arm's eye just because it's a little bit easier. And then all you're going to do is cut right around. Just be careful when cutting the seams because it can be a little bit tough. You don't want to make sure your fingers aren't in there. You don't want to cut a finger. And then you're just going to cut all the way around here. And once again, make sure you don't get any of the other fabric caught because then you'll have a big hole in your dress and nobody wants that. Just be careful of that seam under here too because it can take things way out of the way like I just did. It's not going to be a problem, but just be careful. Okay, so now you have your first sleeve off. You'll do the same thing for the other sleeve. For time's sake, I'm just going to do one so you understand, but you're going to cut both sleeves off. So you're going to take this part of the sleeve and this will wind up being tied together with the other side to make the bodice. So then the next step is, we'll set that to the side, the next step is going to be to cut off this part here. The reason why we're going to do that is because you don't want some weird angle in your dress. So you just make a straight line, get my chalk, so you can use chalk, you can use a marker, whatever you have available, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, just something that you can see. So obviously if you're doing something that's black, you're not going to want to use a black marker. Okay, so you make your line across right to the bottom of the armhole. And then you're just going to cut this off. If you want to do it all in one shot, if you're crunched for time, you can just stick a few pins in any which way because it doesn't matter, they're not going to stay. Stick a few pins just to stabilize. And then you're just going to cut straight across. Make sure you don't throw this part away because what I do is I line the bodice with that piece. And if you need to make an extension on the back of it, you'll use the same piece. So now you have what you're going to have to do is figure out how wide you need it and you're going to run a gathering stitch to measure so it measures the exact dimension that you need it to fit your body. So what you're going to do in order to get, run a gathering stitch, you're going to set your machine up to a longer stitch length. I like to use five but it's whatever you're most comfortable with as long as it's not something very small because then the stitches will break and not pull easily. When I do this, I always run three stitches. Um, it just makes it a little bit more stable, but I'm just going to show you how to do one and you would do it on either side when you are doing it yourself at home. So I like to leave about three quarters of an inch. Um, it'll be marked on some machines, other machines you can measure it however you want. And then you're just going to run a stitch. So you would take that all the way around. We're just going to do a little bit here so you get the gist of it. And then you're just going to pull your stitch. Okay, so you pulled your stitch. A trick to doing this is also to make a few different stitches. So this way, if you break your stitch when pulling it, you don't have a problem. Make sure you always, always, always pull the bottom thread, not the top, because it's going to mess it up otherwise. Okay, so we have our 
skirt all beautifully gathered. Let's just use our imaginations and pretend that it's all gathered. And then you have your bodice. You're going to attach the bodice by using pins. Just stick a few pins. I'll do it real quickly just so you see. Stick a few pins in here. At center front, you're going to take your other side. You're going to knot it together. And then you're going to see what the measurement is on the back. So if this is how wide my skirt is, I'm going to measure how much more fabric I need here. Measure both the length, which is this way, and the width, which is this way. And then just lay out this scrap piece of fabric and cut it out. Then what you'll do is just attach that piece right onto the back to make it nice and long, however long you need it to be to fit your body. If you want to line this, if you want to leave it free and flowy just to go like to the beach or something like that, you can always do that. And then you can line it if you want. Like I said, you just put this piece right on here. You can patch it up, do it however you want to make a little bit more stability. And then the final, strap, um, final step is to add your strap. So you can choose to use another piece of this, use a ribbon like I did. Um, I just think it gives it a little something special. But just so you see, we'll cut this here. Say this is our strap. You'll attach your strap to wherever you think it needs to be on your body, depending on the length that you made it. And then you have your finished dress. See how easy it is to turn a t-shirt into a dress? My name is Amanda Perna. Thanks for watching.